developers to think of an InDesign exported EPUB as a starting point. It's not a finished product, not if you care about accessibility or good development best practices. So this list is a set of post-export cleanup instructions that um, I use to, uh, to clean up an EPUB in general. And um, I, I, this Word file is going to be something that's uh, downloadable for you. So don't worry about taking quick notes. It will be available to you and it includes loads of cheats and things that will help you level up your ebook. Um, and I'm going to name all of these things and then there'll be future videos where I go in depth about what um, what exactly needs to be done to fix things. So in general, InDesign does not create good HTML. It, create, it creates generic HTML that is overburdened with um, overrides. So those all need to be cleaned up. And these are some um, regex cheats to get rid of some of the overrides. And we'll talk about that in the, ne in the next video, I believe. Um, it also doesn't uh, give you a good HTML5. So that is something that you'll have to pay some attention to. If I go down to here, these are the HTML5s that InDesign doesn't give you naturally. And so you'll have to spend some time trying to either regex them in or do the, do it by hand. Uh, honestly, sometimes just by hand is easier. It also, InDesign also generates overly verbose CSS. So for example, for every single paragraph style sheet, it will export um, a color declaration of black. And that will definitely get in the way of the accessible experience, especially if someone switches to night mode. There are a few reading systems out there that um, will not accommodate the text and switch it to white and so you'll get just a black screen. Bit of a problem. You have to check the navigation. Um, InDesign is not terrific at nested lists. It's not terrific at nesting gen in general but it often doesn't nest the lists correctly and I will show you what I mean by that. Um, you have to add accessibility metadata. There's no capability straight out of InDesign for accessibility metadata so you will have to add that. You'll have to search and delete any erroneous language declarations. Um, there are there will be quite a number of them, especially if you have language shifts, and so you'll have to fix them up in both the OPF and in the HTML, in addition to moving the language declaration up to the root HTML line. I will show you what that looks like in a, in a video in a bit. So just be aware of all those things. There's some work that needs to be done around the language declarations. Um, in addition, you'll have to adjust the title element. Just like InDesign is flat-footed and when it comes to naming the HTML files, that sort of um, InDesign file name, uh, hyphen one, hyphen two, etc., it populates the title element at the top of the HTML file with that same um, name, and it's not very useful. That title element does get read out by some assistive technologies, and so it needs to be meaningful. And then finally, you should run the EPUB um, regularly. Um, when you're new to this, I would say you run an EPUB through EPUB Checker every time you make a change to make sure you didn't introduce an error, because then it's easier to tease back the origin of the error, um, and also to use Ace by Daisy, and I will demonstrate that. Okay, so this, this EPUB file, which is full of little tips and tricks, or sorry, not EPUB file, Word file, will be available to you in the download section. Um, so look for it and then uh, uh, let's pause here and then start actually cleaning up in the next video.